Hello, welcome once again to the Waters and Stanton video channel. I'm going to have a look today on this very nice sunny day at the Diamond VX30. Now it's a very simple basic dual band antenna. It's the sort of antenna that be beginners might want to uh, try out or even if you're an experienced operator you want to try 2 meters and 70 cents and don't want to spend too much money on it because you're not quite sure whether you like it or not all well, this might work with the antenna you know Diamond have got a reputation for making very good antennas manufactured in Japan the engineering is beyond reproach and we've got many of these Diamond verticals that are doing service on the tops of repeaters around the country and they've been up there for many years so if you're looking for an antenna that's not going to fall apart but you don't have to worry about year after year is it is it okay then diamond manufacturer probably got the product for you but anyway let's get back to this very simple antenna see what we get in the package and whether it's suitable for you this antenna will handle 150 watts and is available in PL259 and N version. It's the N version we're checking here. Removing the bottom protection cap exposes the end socket. The antenna is enclosed in a fiberglass casing, highly polished, and here are the accessories that it comes with. You first need to pass the coax feeder through the alloy mounting tube and then attach the connector to the antenna. This also acts as a weather protector and you slide it up to the antenna and fasten it with the bolt provided. Two cast alloy brackets are provided and you need to slide those up and space them on the mounting tube. That completes the assembly and there's two U-bolts provided which will accommodate masts up to two and a half inches so no problem there. The antenna is accompanied by some excellent documentation so you'll have no problems in assembling the antenna and it needs no actual adjustment, it's pre-tuned. And here I've temporarily mounted the antenna on a short stub mast in my back garden. The absence for the need of any radials makes it a very sleek installation indeed and will be an attraction for many. Looking at the specification, uh, the antenna is 1.3 metres long from the bottom of the tube that surrounds the feeder to the tip and it acts as a half wave dipole on 2 metres with a 2 dBi gain so it's basically a vertical dipole. On 70 cms it's 2 5 eighths in phase, so it only give, gives you about 2 or 3 dB of gain on 70 cms. The interesting thing about it is that it's, it hasn't got any radials. And as it acts as a dipole on 2 metres, I suspect you could poke it out the window of a flat. As a dipole, if you could have some sort of slim sort of mass section, then it needs to be what a metre or so long, you could poke it out a window of a flat and you'd have a horizontal dipole for two metres. Not terribly directional because you can only point it one way, I guess, but it might get you on the air. So I might try that actually uh, when I've got a moment and see see how it works. Be interesting actually. So there we are. It's a, it's a compact, radarless, two metre seventy seven antenna. Now the area was only about two metres above ground in my back garden but I was receiving the Cambridge repeater at about 50 or 60 miles away. Now if you look at the VSWR meter on this IC705 you'll see there's virtually no VSWR at all. And now on 70 sems a similar picture, no VSWR to speak of. And moving up to 435 again, uh, no problem at all. So that's the Diamond VX30 vertical antenna, dual band. So I hope it's been informative. Don't forget that uh, Diamond do a whole range of vertical antennas, some pretty big ones. Of course, the taller they are, the more gain you get. But they all have one thing in common, and that's superb engineering. One word of warning, there are some copies around. They look very much like Diamond. Even the labelling looks like Diamond, but they're not quite the same quality. 
I'll say no more. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for your support on this channel. Much appreciated. And, well, I hope that all of you in the Northern Hemisphere anyway, enjoy the summer that we're having over here in the UK at the moment. Will it last? Probably not, but there we are. That's the weather for you. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.